ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by 4th Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. The Bahamas Olympic Committee preparing to send a team off to the Commonwealth Games later this year in Australia, but they may have to do so with less athletes than anticipated. In our case, we have um, lost about around 20, 20 um, allocations from the previous games, uh, and that's because the organizing committee is controlling cost. Um, in Glasgow, um, there were some 700 athletes that showed up who didn't have rooms, and so they had to accommodate them. Uh, and that's because of the large number of, of, uh, of countries sending, uh, registering, registering athletes really, really late. Um, and so the Gold Coast has taken a position that there's 4,500 beds in their village, and they distributed those allocations as best they could to accommodate all of the Commonwealth Games Association, including the Bahamas. And I'll give you an example. Canada and, uh, and Athletics last um, Commonwealth Games had about 54 athletes. Um, this year um, in, Gl in Glasgow, they have about 30, between 32 and 39. So all of the countries would have experienced a reduction in quota. Athletics will be one of the disciplines the Bahamas will compete in at the Commonwealth Games. And according to BOC President Romel fish -Nulls, some provisions will have to be made in determining which athletes will compete. Unfortunately, their nationals is about a week before our cutoff date for the um, Commonwealth Games Federation and the organizing committee. So, uh, so we will have to speak with the Athletics Federation uh, about first their quota and secondly about how do we select the, the quota uh, for the team to participate. Shawnee Miller-Webo opening her 2018 campaign over the weekend at the Melrose Games in New York. Running the 300 meters, Shawnee came around in 35.45 seconds to tie the world record set by Russian Irina Provolova back in 1993. Some major changes coming out of the World Baseball Softball Confederation Congress meetings last week, which will affect both sports moving forward locally and internationally. For more on that, here's Charles Fisher. A major swing for the fences when it comes to baseball and softball that may do away with the local governing bodies. That's the Bahamas Softball Federation and the Bahamas Baseball Association. Baseball and softball must come together as one organization within probably the next 18 months or so. So there would be one body in the Bahamas, one body, and say Aruba, one body in Belize, known as the World Baseball Softball uh, Confederation of the Americas. Right now, all, all of the national federation fees, the affiliation fees and stuff must be paid, paid in to the head office in Louisiana. During last week's meeting, English-speaking softball confederation president Burkett Dawson also indicated that changes have been made to the region that we play in. There will not be an ECAS anymore, so to speak. It will be the English Caribbean, and Compasa will now be the Central America Caribbean. It will be the World Baseball uh, Softball Confederation, America Softball. Uh, the, uh, following the meeting in Rome last week, uh, the WBC, the parent body, has asked that we restructure the whole uh, bit of softball and change some of those names around. They want to place more emphasis on the word, on the acronym WBSC. There will also be a change as to the way fast and slow pitch softball is governed. We want to make slow pitch now, put emphasis on it just as they do fast pitch, pitch division, where again national teams would go to these tournaments and the, all the slow pitch divisions now here in the countries they want to uh, solidify themselves and come under the national body. Some major changes to baseball and softball. Get ready. For ZNS Total Sports, I'm Charles Fisher. From the collegiate swimming circuit over the weekend, Joanna Evans and the Texas Longhorns in a dual meet with TCU. Joanna touching the wall in 146.44 to win the 200 freestyle. On to the pro hardwood now. Tavario Miller, a big game, 25 points, 17 rebounds for a Philigan of Norway. They won in blowout fashion, 122-86. Kadeem Colby, a double-double as well, 15 points and 10 boards. Akita of Japan winning a close one, 80-77. Bennett Davis Jr., he was just short of a double-double, 14 points and 9 rebounds for MFAC of France. They won 96-72. Still in France, Michael Carey Jr., 10 points. Zane Knowles adding 6. Charville, they won. 81-68.